to help fish populations as a whole is what drives my passion for what we do. There's so many different facets to my job that you can't get bored. <laughs> oh, every day is different. Um, we have so many different projects going on. I think what makes us unique is that we are able to do disease research here. We also have large capacity to do temperature control from like 5 degrees Celsius all the way up to 30 degrees Celsius, which means that we're able to house a lot of different species. We just open our doors to anyone who wants to do research here. They state agencies or federal agencies or independent researchers. Fish have always been a big part of my life. Growing up, I've always had a lot of fish tanks. So the point of my research was kind of to see how temperature affects the virulence of pathogens. Being able to mimic the actual temperatures of the river was a big part of my research. The primary research that is going on in the lab is disease-based. So while I'm here, I get to talk to other grad students that are doing fish-based research projects as well. And I can get to dive in their world and learn more about their projects. At the all, somebody is always on call 24 seven. So myself, I've had over 20 years of experience working with fish. She really cares. Cares about the, the well-being of the organisms out here, as well as the success of uh, everybody's research program. Whatever you can think of, Ruth will make sure it happens. There's also energy here because everybody is interested in everybody's project. You never know what you're going to discover. It's somewhere where people can feel confident that their animals will be, you know, kept to a really high standard. The systems themselves that support the fish are really high tech and they're fully alarmed. There's multiple layered backup system. So like every, every pump that pumps water to the fish has a backup. There's multiple layers of safety in order to keep those fish happy and alive. Again, it has such a wide range of tanks, whether it holds invertebrates all the way up to large vertebrates, aquatic vertebrates. And that flexibility also includes being able to change temperature. So you can mimic climate change or the unique environment in which you are studying. There are alarms in place if any of these fall below or go above certain parameters. And then there are folks here every single day. I think fish are, you know, the they don't, they're not furry and they don't have big long eyelashes and so maybe, <laughs> maybe they're, they're not as charismatic as, as some other animals, but for us they are. So I tend to be fish centric, but yeah. <laughs> if it's aquatic, this is your place. Um, sorry. Cut. <laughs> now I'm messing up, sorry. <laughs>